Who want this? Everybody say red, 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 red. You are from Portland, big up yourself. Walk holy. Forward sail. It's red, 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 red. Don't let me lose. Dash and pray. It's a red, 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 red. Share the live. Me need people for share the live. Me I go do some roll, some roll call first. Me just take my mood stabilizer because true, me have so much to talk about. Me no want to miss nothing. Let me see ya. Arcalian is a mood stabilizer. See there. It orange the pill them orange. My mood stabilizer. Our Kalyan it name. Ah, it. You see, because I don't want to go on bad and mad this morning. Is it because I don't want to go on bad this man? I'm going take my mood stabilizers there. Are you wrong me? Mm -hmm. Take my mood stabilizers them Jamaica. Because they say I'm a madman. But only a madman can talk the truth. Only a madman can talk the truth. But me not feel so hot, you know. But I had to come. I had to come and let all of you understand. I had to come on and let all of you understand a few things. We were live. No, man. That neck here killed me. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to neck around. No, sir. Need smother with left. Ow. Mm -mm. No, sir. Me tired man, me very tired. Very tired, Jamaica. Very tired. Very, very tired. But come on. I'm a neck, my neck. Neck I kill me. Mm-mm. Feel like say. Ah. Oh. Mm-mm. Holy age, come me. Holy age, the pami. Come on, guys, share the video. Share the video. Karen Cross will be on in a very in few minutes. Karen Cross left handed, but she not. Karen tired. Karen is very tired.
Karen is very tired. Bless up yourself, Annet. Bless up yourself. Me not a tiger bar, me know. But bless up on yourself. But I don't think, I don't think the pain I may feel are from the, um, the bad sleeping. I think the pain I may feel are from last night when me and Karen cross. Me say! Me did one day for dead at a, a Roman Catholic church me day. No, sir! The amount of wrongs me see in that day sitting here. The amount of wrongs me see. The amount of inappropriateness I saw last night. <laughs> the amount of inappropriateness I saw last night. The amount of inappropriate. Alright, first of all. I go compare and contrast. You know why I compare and contrast and tell you we go wrong and we go good in this something? First of all, hey! Sonny Diaz, Stephanie, we and Karen Michelle. We don't need to keep no nine night for my good. <laughs> yeah. Me say everybody me talked to last night. Them saw Mark Golding nine night. Hey, hey! Them son of Paul Robert, them come to celebrate Paul Robertson, but and add Mark Golding, them are buried. Mr. Wanna say? Them say Andre just talk normal. The people them say. If you don't think a lie, let me call Karen. Me, me call Karen. Whoa! Karen, me, me, me join you upon this day. Me I add her upon the live. Me not call her. Yo, 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 you ready for talk, Karen? Rosemary! The people them start celebrate, them and celebrate Dr. Paul. And them come for bury Mark Golding. Karen, come on, oh man. The dead yard band the dead about you don't know what happened. Lord Jesus! Feel Marshall! Oh, what is it? <laughs> Hey, hey, what is it this morning? <laughs> huh? Phil Marshall! I'm me alone here when the people them come tell me, say, them come to celebrate my um, Dr. Paul and I bury my golden. I wish she gone. Karen! Let me connect car back. Me me connect her back. Only na see your date and me say me got to forgot talk to Mark Golding last night. I you na see your date and Campbell arms and pull the man. Cause I'm not want the party leader talk to me. You have to stay one place. You can't move up and down. Not because you're a celebrity. All right, but I was in the kitchen getting my tea that I just warming up back, so I come back under the gazebo. You know what happened now? I'm tired. I never I sleep five hours. Hey, hey. <laughs> Karen, yeah, you know, sister, me and you were the chief celebrants last night. Boy, the thing would have been much more dead if we weren't there. That I know. Hey, hey. the PMP people were glad that we were there. And make Karen. no mistake, there was more PAP people than rum. 
Karen. They were more authentic PMP than Rise. There was no Rise United. There were very few Rise United people. Hey, what are you saying? You know how many people came to me and hugged me and said, Andre, don't load up Mark Walling tonight. Yeah, we saw it. We saw it. But they all secretly told me, Andre, I come come for celebrate Mark Golding. No, not celebrate. We name Doctor Paul, but I bury I bury Mark Golding tonight. Mister, so what you say? You know the one we love, the turban. I wear the turban there. Me sleep with it last <laughs> night, you know. <laughs> You sleep with that dirty thing that was at PFB headquarters all over the place? You have to know, you have to talk to the ancestors. Mm. See, Tia. Mm. You want me to get the reading? Go ahead, man. Hey! No, me not put on black and white, no evil in hand. That's true. <laughs> Make me put on the right color! <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Mm. Karen, you said to read out all of them? Read them out, man. Call up the name of them. Do the roll call and read them out. Let me go for this song. They will deserve that this morning. We're going to tell the whole world this morning what happened last night at PMP headquarters. <laughs> Karen. Yo. PMP people want back life, you know? Yeah. They were very glad to see us. You know, see, you're, you're, you're like a celebrity for them. No matter with that, just make a move on to the other things, huh? When Move yourself, Karen! Move up! <laughs> 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I reach the sea of I need a grace. I just get and can the one need a grace. <laughs> and this man only one and all the seas away. Yes, all of the missionaries then put up your fist in morning. All of the resistance then put up your fist in morning. And all the seas away. Me not have your energy when you're young. No, Sir Karen, read a number one. Let me get my book. Yeah. Lord Jesus. Lord! Look what I say. Um. Thy shoe shall be iron and brass. And as the days, so shall this your, thy strength be. Karen, Dayton Campbell, number one. Yay! Rebe, be, be. <laughs> Dr. Dayton Campbell, doctor, lawyer, Indian, chief. <laughs> Dr. Dayton Campbell, leader of the Black PNP. Were you appalled last evening when you saw Miss Karen Cecilia Cross? Can you respond to that, Miss Cross? If we, me, me must talk and be a day. No, can, no, I am asking him, but what is your response? 
when Dr. Dayton Campbell saw you last evening. Oh, he was shocked, man. If the earth could open up and swallow him, he would have gone down in there. He was um sitting in his beaker for a good three, four minutes when he came through the gate, talking about what I don't know with the uh, with the people them that that give you the the sanitize your hand and stuff like that. The man yes. was shocked, and we were dancing in front of him, car. So of course he was shocked out time wait. He was wondering if him should come in or him should go back out. He was wondering if we were mash up him car, if we could drive him out of the car and lick him. And he was wondering all kind of things, I suppose. <laughs> but he was a shock. <laughs> what I surmise is he became a coward when he saw you, Karen. Yeah, man, I'm running, man, I'm running. No, if you came to mash up the PNP's event. So I'll my little they know about anybody. My sum summary is he was talking to the sanitary people and the security details to say be on alert if this woman starts. <laughs> he was giving them words of caution. But I don't know when we went in, they were booming off our face and glad to see us. So I don't know if they were listening to that. If, if that is what he was saying. I, I don't, that was what he was saying, like, exactly. I think he was a little confused and taken aback. Because that happens to people when you are surprised. Mm. <laughs> and this was surprising for him. And he got parked in vehicle. And he couldn't decide if he was going to go into his office or go up to where the event is going to be um, broadcast from, where the stage is and all of that. So he couldn't make that decision. So after a while of spinning around two or three times, he ended up um, first going into his office. And then come back out in the place. Or going up there first and coming. I don't know. Him just looked confused. He was confused for the whole evening. Wow. Tsunami, Karen Cross, and Earthquake Stevens passed through. Yes, and don't forget Mama Sam was with us. Oh, Lord. The three musketeers went there. Yeah. We were, we were good. We but brought then, life to the thing because it's supposed to be a... A celebration of Dr. Um, Paul Roberts' Paul Roberts. life. Who's my former member former, of parliament? Former member of parliament for South East and Catherine and former general secretary of the People's National Fa Party, former minister of government. I mean, Dr. Paul was so much, so many other things than just general secretary of the PNP. And uh, the idea for us to interview people and ask them to give their take about Dr. Paul was an excellent one because ordinary people did not get to talk. But the first observation, apart from frightening Dayton and frightening the few risers them that actually there. Because I want to around, talk about how Peter Bunting was appalled. It was a small crowd, but it was mostly authentic PMP. For some reason, look at the risers them hiding out or something. There was a very low representation from and Region 3 itself. Although the majority of people made up of Region 3. And then a second majority came from Portmore. But clearly, constituencies were missing last night. Many. Constituencies in the, in, the, in the corporate area. But Karen, can and I say... And people show up by themselves without anybody else from them divisions. MP show up by themselves without anybody from them constituency. It was an amazing display of lack of organization and, and preparedness. For something like that, and 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 everybody wants to use COVID as a as a as a as an excuse for not having a proper showing, but it was a it was um an ill prepared. They were ill prepared, um, ill planned, and it was. I mean, the execution was just flawed right through. You know, Mark came and Mark came and it was a peer. And Mark came and when Mark came, it was like an ordinary PNP member came. There was no, no way. Fan of a new year. Year. No way. <laughs> there was no pump and pageantry. Nothing at Nothing. all. Nothing. At one time, Nothing. I said, you know what? It really looked bad. Let me go put the live funny man and try to get some people on the live to give him a. You understand? And the sad part of that, Karen, when I called to Comrade Golding, he said, hi, good evening, good night, how are you? He was going to engage in a conversation with me. Mm -hmm. And the inept general secretary pulled the man away from me. Pulled the man away from me. It was part of him being frightened. 
to see us. And frightened to know that he can't put out nobody with a PMP headquarters. Those things frighten him, so he never know if he act. Wow. But it seems as though if Mark has these people staring him, Mark is going down a slippery slope. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Then, mm -hmm. the evening proceedings was the next thing that really, really got that got, 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 um, the singer. The party leader was the first speaker on the, on, 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 the, on the agenda. I've never seen anything like that. The party leader was the first person to give tribute to Dr. Paul. Somebody I am absolutely certain that he just knew the other day when Dr. Paul supported him um, over Lisa, Lisa and I I, 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 am, I hope I am wrong, but I think so. And Dr. Paul supported him over Lisa. And I believe that was probably his first meeting or, or, or with Dr. Paul and, and no doctor. I don't know nothing about Dr. Paul or whatever they had to say, people tell him. I don't know Dr. Paul. He has not spent any time as the leader of the PMP trying to know anything about the PMP. So I don't know. And then to hear that, um, that general secretary talking about Dr. Paul, like him thinks if Dr. Paul was in PMP, he could have been a PMP. Mm. Dr. Paul was in a PMP, he would never be PMP. If Dr. Paul was general secretary, he would, he would never be candidate. He would really? never be candidate. Now, man, Dr. Paul would read him up and know him already. Dr. Paul has seen before us, because Dr. Paul had that kind of insight. Dr. Paul can yes. see from afar. He has and foresight Dr. Paul, and fortitude. Yes, man. Dr. Paul would have seen him from day one. Him couldn't run for PMP. Dean Campbell couldn't run for PMP if Dr. Paul was general secretary. So hearing them and see the hypocrisy of it all was just stunning. Quite stunning. But it was an enjoyable evening for me. You know, I enjoyed myself. Watching them stewing in them own um them own piss, so to speak. Because mm -hmm. it is clear that Mark is not in charge of the PMP. It is clear that none of them not leading nothing except themselves. When the when the leader talked, everybody was still busy doing whatever they were holding them own conversations. Wait, 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 wait. Current course. I have gone to political meetings on both sides. Mm. I have gone to political meetings on both sides. Mm. And any political figure that is speaking, especially the party president or leader, mm. Barfi shot, music man shut down, as the leader starts to speak, the leader gets undivided attention. Right, Aaron? Absolutely. Last night, I thought it was the PMP YO president that was up there. I couldn't believe it's the party president. Mm. Bar open. People are chat, people are gallivant, man, just hey, and everything. And there were more people outside than actually in the event. Yeah. Where is the political machinery? The general secretary that Dr. Paul Robertson was would have made sure that everything locked down and organized. And you are come and talk about your gensec. You are talking about your gensec. And you have a situation that you can't control your people in. Yes, he was lethargic. He didn't have any home for him. He never have no pump. He never have no voice. He never have no presence. It was sad. Last night was his, was show him up for I'm everything. Like, that and some PMP people were saying to me, how strange it felt. I mean, if you pause and not on the live and not doing anything and not talking to a just pause, and just stood, stand there for a while and just feel the air, what you would have felt is a deflated, demotivated PMP. The air of it all was about that. Everybody with them little crew started up one side grumbling, and nobody 
was defending anything except themselves and them little cool them stand up. There was no sense of PMP in that gathering last night. It was a sense of the same set of people who invaded the PMP like Putin is invading in, in Ukraine, who, who laid siege on Norman Manley's party, and who, is, who now has found themselves in a situation where they can't manage it. The very thing that they criticized Peter Phillips for, and they were criticizing the party in general for, things that I, that I witnessed them say and, uh, um, in, in, in meetings and just gatherings, the very thing. One of those things were um, the party can't seem to organize nothing properly. That was one of those criticisms, that was one of the criticisms they had. And just looking at last night, you can tell it that was they very chaka Very chaka chaka. Very chaka chaka. I mean, we have people like Heather Robinson and Dallas Campbell who can do decorations and them have this damn side chick Nick doing all of this foolishness. It just looked ridiculous. PMP people were saying that when they were at, when they remember it, and when, when you talk to people, not only people on the live, but people who were not on the live, people just reminiscing about what PMP was and what it felt like coming to party headquarters and how it felt when you were there. None of that last night. None of that at all. Nobody, you could see the discomfort in almost everybody. Everybody was like on an edge of a precipice. Everybody discomforted. You, you don't feel like you're home anymore. One PMP person, I will call her name, Annalise. Annalise said to me when she, when she drove in, the gentleman who parked in the car said to her, okay, ma'am, you can park there so ma'am. Can you imagine driving the PMP headquarters and somebody calling your ma'am and not comrade? Ma'am? I mean, you, you can see how hurt Annalise was by the, just that. Somebody saying ma'am. And the fact that this person don't know her and don't know the same for call everybody who come through the, the gate, comrade. That alone is enough to just piss people off. So, you know, there, there was that. There was, there was an air of surrealness that this was like an alternate universe. When you look at where them set up with the chairs and the, and the, and the, and the podium and stuff like that, you, you feel you were watching a sci-fi film where all, the, where, where all the actors find themselves in an, in an alternate universe over that side, and then there were some other people in a different universe over the other side. It was quite a spectacle that is not worth um, Dr. Paul deserve a good send off, and I'm glad that people were there to send him off and to, to, to wish him well and to say nice words about him. And real authentic PMP people showed up to do that. But what Rice put on last night was a disgrace, total disgrace. Wait, no. It's when you know, sister, when me I go away, the band's girl said, so Mr. Stevens' partner, Jawabas, come here, man. And you, you send to... them to start play. And me, I forgot to tell them, so I forgot to tune start up the play, mic. Start play, start play, start sing. Yeah, it's you did that. You told them to start sing and start play. And even then, uh, the excitement wasn't there. People were not excited to be there. You know, some people came out of um, curiosity. Some came out of um, um, loyalty and, and, and reverence to Dr. Paul. I went. Because Dr. Paul was one of my favorite general secretary, him and Danny Buchanan, and to some extent still Maxine and Wilson. And then in the interviews, you have people who actually didn't even want to talk, like Tony Hilton, looking like a damn dump, looking like a duo man, the man behind the duo bread, um, so he didn't want to talk. Then I went over and spoke to Councillor Kelly, who was very nice to me, referred to me as Miss Cross. That was so gentlemanly of him. <laughs> them have this thing going on. Them look this ridiculous. So them see people them depart, miss this and miss that. Them try to do that to make you feel like you're not comrade. But it, I thought I I I, I treated as him being a gentleman to be. Come um Miss Cross. It was quite mm. crisp. <laughs> and then talking to Kelly, you had whoring slot say a draw him way. Who is Saya? Say Wilson, Maxine L. Wilson, do, do daughter. Wow. The, the PMP slut says fool. Jesus. The, the, milf, the milf from Pornhub. That's Pornhub. 
Yes, the MILF. <laughs> Jesus, Karen, you can't say them something there. I can. She is. I pull it away, Kelly, make him feel important. Counselor Kelly, pretending to be vice president of the PMP. And this little whore, I pull him away. Like she don't want him to talk and the like. Wishing doctor, um, say nice things about Dr. Roberts. And not that Kelly knew Dr. Roberts. That Kelly never knew Dr. Roberts. Um, um, Kelly, they were coming up here. Kelly, Kelly was a labor right, you know. Kelly used to walk from him labor right ends of Southwest St. Andrew. And, and, um, when he reached up top, he put on him orange shirt. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, he never knew Dr. Roberts. But he spent a few minutes talking to me. And people talk on the live and talk a few about it. Seconds, and a few seconds. Yes, yes, a few seconds. More than 45 seconds. You know, so the lady yeah. pull him on. Yeah, you mean the door girl, the, 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 um, the PMP Watch. cesspool slot. Yeah. She, 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 yes, she was doing that. But she's insignificant. Her, her job in the PMP is basically to hang out with all those girl, people. Brown bird. That, she see, that she seemed to be important. And be Angela's wing woman. And while she's doing all of that, she sets her way through it all. Mm. That's the other thing. So she can keep on up here like her antics. But um, I'm glad I went. It was good. We made it good because wherever we go, we make it good for us. You know what I mean? And we keep and, it um, up last night. Yeah, and the PAP people, I'm glad that we were there. Look at the reception that PMP, ordinary PMP ground troops and the rank and file gave us. They was hanging out with us. They was hanging out with them. You know, so PMP people know what they're about and they know what they're doing. And last night is an indication, Mark's speech is an indication that they know where things are. I went to sign the book, the condolence book with Dr. Roberts. Condolence book, and I passed Mercat Bunting no more than two or three feet, looking deflated and demotivated, looking like the sick pervert that he is. And uh, you know what? The thing that makes the risers so discomforted last night, they were discomforted because they knew what they did. They were there to celebrate the life of Dr. Paul Robertson. And nobody from the rank and file, nobody from Dr. Paul days of his constituency was allowed to give a tribute on the podium. The tributes were from people, apart from the few people who knew him. The tribute was basically from other people who never knew him. And nobody from the rank and file was on that list. No former constituency, no former constituent, no rank and file from any constituency was there to give a tribute to Dr. Paul. The PMP chairwoman, Miss Angela Brownberg, was holding the mic in her right hand and her phone in the left hand, reading a tribute. Wow. Reading a tribute. The mic in her right hand, her phone in her left hand, reading the tribute like in the, like in some of the back wall, um, uh, banana, um, um, country, um, place. To make it a modern place, and you have a chairman of the party with a mic in her right hand. And our phone in the left hand reading a tribute. If the chairman of the party can speak a simple three minute tribute to a general secretary, I mean, what the hell are you wrong, man? Woman? It's three minutes to ask you to speak from your heart about somebody you should have known. And you stand up with, just like me right here now, the phone in your left hand, the mic in your right hand. And it looks so tacky. Tacky. No flag. And local. Chaka chaka. You know, parochial. It just look real chaka chaka the way they, they did this. And so we, we did that in, on our live. We had a, 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 series, a whole host of people from Dr. Paul constituency talking um talking to Jamaica and speaking about Dr. Paul and talking about. And I am I am happy to report to the PMP out in Jamaica. And I know that Mark and Dayton and Bunting is going to have a headache about this. But the PMP people at PMP headquarters last night, apart from the little emissaries, they won't have to pay to keep them happy. Or they was quiet, you know. All of the emissaries, they were quiet. They were invisible. They were not, they don't want to be seen. They were not making themselves visible to nobody. They were cowering 
and hiding because yeah. you know what you know, did you? The whole of them, Lawrence Road, the whole of them, 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 the whole of them was cowering and hiding and itching up no look at um, corner. Can't chat to nobody but themselves because they know what they did. Really? And they wow. felt uncomfortable in that environment. There was no comfort for any of them in that environment. They were uncomfortable on the other hand. Authentic PMP was very, very comfortable hanging out in PMP headquarters, sitting on the lawn, eating fish, drinking rum, hanging out and have a laugh because that's PMP. Nobody never appeared them no mind. So, Merca looked like a man that is deflated and um, and burnt out and tired. He looked, he looked more tired but than me. They never even had a media house there near Shanghai. No. Nationwide no come, TVJ no come, Glean no come, Observer no come, and CBM no come. And if you but, see the thing that was put out by the resistance this morning, I lighten the fact that they were broadcasting yeah. live from the PMP page, but hardly anybody was watching because they blocked some 300 plus PMP people from the PMP page. What? These what? are the things that is coming home to heart. They you know, them block PMP people. From the PMP page. So now them broadcasting and there was nobody to watch. And really? what it was about them highlighting Mark instead of highlighting Dr. Robertson. Back in the day when you're going to have a setup like that for a former general secretary as great and as loved as Dr. Paul, you would have had some life-size pictures of Dr. Paul um around the place, something momentous. You would have um, pictures of him with Michael Manley and him and Peter Phillips were very close friends and all of that. None of that. Absolutely none of that. Why? Because Rise United movement, Peter Bundy, Mark Golden, Dave Campbell, Angela Bromberg, all of them invaded, occupied, and now inside destroying the People's National Party. And they know what they have done. And seeing us there last night was very, very, very effective. Hey, me me it Angela, them psychic. It me me them psychic and them could not even smile. They were be not having fun. They were not enjoying themselves. Gaten was trying to look a dance thing, but him turning back to everybody him looked so ridiculous like a fucking puppet. Mm. They know what they did, and last night was an indication, clear indication. Fifth of they know them. what they, of Fifth what they, they know. No, but you could see that they know what they have done. You could see it, you could feel it. You could look at them faces. You could see it. Wicked as samba. You could see wicked as samba. All of them. They're, they're going to feel it, man. God is going to, God is giving them a beating. God is giving all of them a beating. All of them getting a beating for what they did to the PMP. And last night, last night was a show. Mm. Clear show that they know what they did. And PMP people now back down from them. And them going down. They are going down. But you know what is sad? Everywhere I walked last night, mm. because, you know, I've been speaking out against the PNP. I would have expected that the PNP people would have shunned me. Mm -mm. They're not the PMP, to me, then. The PNP said to me, Andre, help with rescue the party. Help with get rid of Mark Golding. Help with help, 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 help. People see, all I over the compound. People all over the compound. Was quietly saying that this man I must go, man. This man I must go. And they don't call him Mark Golding. Them call him number 17. Jesus. Yeah. God. And some of them call him party leader number two. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> some people was referring to him as party leader number two. <laughs> so what well, number one? Of course it's Merkel. Oh. <laughs> mm -mm. Karen. It was quite a spectacle, yeah, man. 
I cannot believe the people see them like this. It's very sad. It was satisfying for me to observe it. Very satisfying. To see, for, to see, to see them and how they look. How they, what their psyche is, what their demeanor is. It was satisfying to me. And uh, there is the PMP resistance and the Panadra movement can pat themselves on the back. We have exposed them and them feeling it to them core. No matter what kind of thing they might put on, public persona, them feeling it, man. Them feeling it. Take a bow. PMP resistance and the Panadra draw movement. Take a bow. We now expect Jamaica stop know what they are and what they have done. And we're going to get back the People's National Party from these guys. It was a poor, poor, poor planning and poor execution of a so-called um, um, tribute to Dr. Paul Roberts. Not one picture, except, <clears throat> sorry, except, <clears throat> except where the, um, the signing book was. There wasn't one picture of Dr. Paul anywhere near the podium. Just this fade out version of the PMP. You see that PMP that them have there with the fade out PMP look that the bright orange? That's how they are fading. So everything they do is an indication and is a projection of what them feeling and what they are. The same way that every time they make a statement or give a speech, no matter how they intend for it to come out, it come out a different way for people to see them for who they are. God is in the midst. And he's working it for the, against them, man. Them in for a rude away them. So it was good otherwise. We were glad we were there to see them and to witness them. And I can report to the PMP, to authentic PMP who were not there. I can report to the PMP resistance that you have done an excellent job to expose these traitors, these invaders, these people who have parachuted themselves into the leadership of the PNP and occupy wow. Norman Manley Party. Resistance, PNP resistance, we have to step it up a notch or two. It's the only um, way now. But Karen, hmm? if you guys step it up a notch, I don't have to attack them and go catch. We intend, we, we don't want to kill nobody because we're not murderers like Putin. Or we're not murderers like them. are murderers because they murder PNP. They murder the soul of the PNP. They have killed off PMP soul and killed off PMP enthusiasm. PMP people look um, look deflated and and I don't know how to describe it. It was like a surreal world from some sci-fi movie where everybody just looking around and looking at an edge. Everybody looking at an edge. Everybody look um like they're waiting for something to happen. Everybody just look sad. I mean, people just look them just look sad. As a political analyst, can you give me a timeline as to when you see Mark Golding leaving? You see, I wouldn't want to do that. I'm a part of a resistance, and we have already clarified on what a resistance is. Um, the French resistance lasted all over two years um resistance across the world last for long martin luther martin luther king was resisting from 1960 all the way back mm. to 19 to when they killed him a resistance are a are a, are a prolong a prolonged activity to resist against those who oppress us it's a resistance we are a resistance um um, ultimate goal is to achieve change and there is no timeline on a resistance there are only sporadic results from a resistance and one mm -hmm. such result was the 17 percent that was one result from the resistance and the next result if there is another soon coming as you somebody pinch you and tell you the next result is going to be less than 17 that's the resistance. The way them look last night, that's the resistance wearing them down. 
The way them couldn't put on a proper show thing last night, that's the resistance wearing them down. The way that PMP rank and file people who normally show up in droves of these things didn't show up, that's the resistance. And there is no timeline on the resistance because when the resistance achieve its ultimate goal, it will be total, total, total eradication for those people. But Karen, so I, will not put that I have access to some to some information. I know you do. Ain't already. Yet. No, no, I'm already. Yet. All I can say, he that have ears to hear, let them hear, and he that have eyes to see, let them see. But Mark's speech also spoke to the fact of where his own headspace is. His body language and um, the speech combined together is an indication that he himself is, um, is thinking, yeah, and thinking of the immediate future of what's going to happen. And Bunting's propping up of Angela Brownberg, oh please. Boy, America, that not going to fly. No matter what money you spend, not even your group, not even your delegates are going to go with that. Not going to fly. A man, must have ambition, but a, a man or a woman must know their limits to the ambition. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with ambition, but people must have ambition. Yes, but you can't be chairman, but you, there is all right. For instance, Bobby Pickersgill knew he would be an effective chairman, but Bobby Pickersgill know that I'll be chairman for life. Yeah, he never but one day said he wanted to be leader. He might have had those thoughts at one time, but at some point, him, him just let it go and just be chairman for life. Chairman for life. And I am saying mm -hmm. to you, where we are right now. Mm. Angela will never be chairman for life. Neither will she be leader. Neither will she, she ever be leader of the PMP. No matter what Bunting telling her. Angela Brownberg will never be leader of the People's National Party. Mark my words on this day. But the good they thing are... is Angela told me in confidence that she doesn't like Bunting. No, no, nobody have that you don't have to be confident. She and Bunting don't like each other. Them hate each other very much. But Bunting, in his sick mind, couldn't be leader, so he met Mark leader. See that Mark now cut it him trying to go make Angela leader. But I hope that by then the good Lord would have taken away pretty much every faculty of his senses from him. So I can't instigate nothing against the PMP. And the good Lord is already at work and in bad side. I'm going to this. Karen, we don't have money, you know, but we have brains over, brains over force. And we have That's loyalty. Right. And we have patriotism. And those are the things that political leaders need. Loyalty and patriotism. None of which Angela Bromberg possess. And they, at some point down the road, we are going to tell the PMP people um, about all of that. But the 17% that Mark now enjoys is uh, that Cliff Hughes was making a, a real mockery of him about when him say it him, him improving. Is as a direct result of what the resistance has done. And um, if we keep that up, Angela Bromberg will be history before she starts. I don't think she would be that foolish. She know she, she know my voice. She you know. is that she is that foolish. Any anything that you think she is not, just add three or four um, layer to that, and she is. Wow. So if you think that she's that foolish now, had three layers of foolish to it, and she is, because she yeah. will believe that bunting money will help get her elected. But the truth is, not even the delegates that supported Mark would support Angela Brownberg. And no given day. No day. Pigs will have to fly and snow will have to fall in Kingston. See anything that possible? That is out of the, the realm of possibility. But she can always live in that alternate universe where Bunting is um, propping her up and telling her that she can be. And um, any day she start walk up and down across the country to ask PMP people to support her, um, then we will see. <laughs> she won't support her. 
Um, absolutely not. Absolutely not. They can't support nobody who have done what they did to the PMP just to achieve personal power. You can't do that. You just can't. You can't find it. There was a time when I supported Angela and thought that Angela was a patriot and a PMP only to discover that Angela is a self-serving individualist who believe only in what she wants and what she wants to do. And um, I can't support that. They are, they are into self-power over party and self-power over country and See power that. over patriotism and Must power and money. Them. Yeah, power and money over loyalty. And, 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 and patriotism. Can't support those people. Cannot. By the way, I'm going to go tidy my kitchen now. Now I waste some more time on this. Do, what sure kind of time is being with? This is called political education. You're out of order. Yeah, and people listening to us, really? Yes. Well, there's, um, there is Merca, there is Mark, there is Angela. Strange enough, of the whole group of them that invaded and overthrew Dr. Peter Phillips, that invaded and occupied the PMP like Putin is now doing in Ukraine. Who we did this last night? Let's talk about who wasn't there. Ian Hill. Yes. Luther um, Buchanan. Luther Buchanan. Yes. Did you see Maureen Maureen Weber. Weber. Mm -hmm. Um... Quite a few of them wasn't there last night. Many of them not coming out. Quite a few of them wasn't Patricia there. Patricia Duncan Sutherland wasn't there. They were the women's movement. We never said the WIO. The WIO, if maybe one or two WIO members was there, but there was no WIO presence. And the um, Patriot. Yeah, the one or two Patriots were there because there was Raymond and and you No, and the present Patriots leadership. Who was who that? That tall guy there. Who say my businessman? Okay. We never so, see Ali Brown or Andre Brown or Ali Brown, whatever his name is. I will never see Fenton. Maybe, 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 maybe the, the shadows are high within the Fenton. Um, we didn't see quite a few people. Quite a few former members of parliament that served while Dr. Roberts was general secretary. We didn't see them at all. It was um it was stunning to see something like that organized by Dr. Paul and people who were there during his time as, as a general secretary didn't show up. I was happy to see Omar, my original boss, Omar Davis. Still love Omar. Um, Omar Azan wasn't, wasn't there. Uh, Richard. Richard Azan wasn't there. Um, yeah, it was only Kelly and, um, and um, Norman Scott was mm -hmm. there. Um, and boy, them look dull and unimpressive out and of out of place. And Jesus help. And I pray last night like mad for the Lord to rescue the People's National Party. Every one of them, them look insipid, them look sick, them look dull, them look unimpressive. So you're telling me, when you go home last night, you're catching a Holy Spirit for the PMP? Not in a Holy Spirit. I prayed a mighty prayer for my party. I prayed and I cried for my party last night. I did. I did. Just watching mm -hmm. the whole proceeding and watching how authentic PMP just sit down and take them in. Mm -hmm. And nobody <clears throat> and the unity talk. It's just a talk. Always has been. Just something that them think them should say. But everybody knows that they don't mean and they have no desire for, and they have made no indication, real indication to. Is there so something they use as a talking point? People are asking on the live, who do you see as the next leader of the PNP? We're not answering that question. Why? No, sir, we're not answering that question. The PMP, <clears throat> the PMP is not a microcosm of Jamaica. Jamaica is at a microcosm of the PMP. Throughout the last maybe 30 years, 20 years, since Michael Manley left, um, the PMP have elected leaders that um, 
the, the wider society don't support. I didn't want. In other words, um, the most popular leaders don't have not gotten elected in the PMP, um, except Portia Simpson Miller got her second chance when she was defeated in ninety after she was defeated in ninety two. So <clears throat> the PMP delegates have a penchant of not listening to the rest of the country, <clears throat> and that is the reason why we end up with Mark Golden. The PMP delegates don't listen to the rest of Jamaica. The PMP delegates listen to the ten thousand dollar when them get the night before and the fifteen thousand dollars that they got after they voted. That's what the P <clears throat> the PMP delegates listen to. And what was the result of that? Mark Jefferson Golden Bakramasa. And they all say they were going with Golden. Where I don't know. It look like them going off a cliff right now. But in terms of the next leader, that's going to be entirely up to the PMP delegates. And so people like us, what we have been doing for the last nearly two years is to educate the public and educate the PMP delegates as to why it's important for them not only to listen to them pockets, because they must understand that when candidates offer them money to vote for them, they must take their money and go do the right thing. They must take the money because they deserve it. They must take the money because they have worked very hard for the PMP and about not give them nothing except when there's an internal election. It's only when election time internally, they want them to look for them and give them money. So they must take the money, but they must also vote for the correct person to represent the People's National Party. I hear. Uh, so do you think at this time, I'm going to put you under some pressures as a journalist. Yes. As I pressure. <clears throat> so, so pressure, pressure. Who under pressure? Karen Cross. I'm going to put some names in the ring and I want you to give a full, some objective analysis. Ooh. Lisa Renier Hannah. Boy, I don't know if I should do this. You have to do it. You have to do I, it. You are the resistance spokesperson. You have to do it. Is Sonia and, and Michelle on the line? Yes, they are. <laughs> is Andrea and <coughs> Flowers on the line? They are all here. I don't like hearing them. They don't really think I should talk. I really don't want to set up without um, the team. No, this is the objective analysis of Karen Cro Cecilia Cross. But I'm not a single person in this fight. This fight is um is a is an effort by hundreds of people, and there is a particular group of women um that we um we confer and and talk with each oh, other. Oh, they about. don't want you to answer. <laughs> so let me tell you. Yeah. What's your take on Damian Crawford? It means we're look so What is it? Find two divisions. Work those repeat two divisions. That, that. Damian Crawford need to go find two divisions, work those two divisions, and um and, and make himself useful. Sitting the there, say, sitting there believing that he's the next coming of Christ is not going to cut it. He has to find a place to do some real political work other than speechifying. Help two divisional um, candidates, help two authentic PMP candidates win them divisions. Go down there, make us see down there at work, wherever it is, just pick two places. I'm going to do some work. And we will see after that. Mikael Phillips. Mikael is... Um, Mikael is kind of a safe politician. Him, um, him try to play it safe. Um, try to do the right thing. Him trying to tread the needle and ride on both sides of, of the fence, which is, which, is, which is quite impossible in politics because your, pan, your, your pants is going to get tear up when you try both sides of the fence. So Mikael is trying to separate himself from the pack, but also trying to ingratiate himself with the risers. Raymond yeah. Price. Ah, they are unafraid, totally unafraid, boss. Raymond need to concentrate on the constituency that he has chosen. He need to build that constituency and make it impenetrable to, 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 to labor rights. He need to get back PMP constituency, and he can do it. 
and he has my 100% support um, in doing that. And I think he's doing a fabulous job so far in trying to maintain that constituency and get it back into the fold of the PMP. Lisa Hanna. Uh, the, the team already say I mustn't go there. Yeah, but you give an objective analysis of everybody else. It's fair analysis. Well, let me let me let me say something in response to the whole Lisa Anna thing. The reason why I would not want to give an analysis of Lisa on this particular lie is that it requires a detailed analysis from both sides of the fence. It's going to involve not just Lisa, but other people. So for now, I want to keep out of that. I want to keep out of that analysis with Lisa, and I want to keep out of an analysis with Comrade Paulwell, the connection boss too. But Paulwell is doing what Paulwell needs to do. Paulwell is doing his life, making his connections with his PMP people. Paulwell already have a solid base of support within the PMP. He, um, he, is, um, he has friends right across the board and people that support him because he's congenial, he's approachable. And I'm he, going to he, put you under the pressure now. You see you're under fire, under water, you, you, you look there. Look there. You have to you 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 draw a rag. <laughs> Should it come to the test September of this year? Who would you give your unrousing support? Comrade Paulwell, Comrade Michael Phillips, Comrade Lisa Hanna, Comrade Damian Crawford, Comrade Raymond Price. I am going to reserve the right to say that, and this is true, I have not yet settled on a candidate. I don't even know who the, 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 the aspirants are. I know who the wannabes are. All I do is that your name. But I don't know. I really honestly don't know. Because this time around, my job, I believe that my job right now is to get the PMP delegates to recognize the wider Jamaica's interest in who we elect as a leader. Because the PMP delegates always seem to believe that yes, it is their choice to be made. Correct they are. But the PMP delegates must be educated to understand that when you are going into that booth to select a PMP, to elect a PMP leader, they must be mindful that they are also electing a possible um, prime minister. And therefore, their choice, they must think very careful of and link so that choice. Link comment. that choice. Hold on, man. The PMP delegates must link that choice of leader with the desires of what the Jamaican people are saying. They must do that. The PMP delegates must need to learn to do that. They need to learn to be conscious and educated and informed as to what would work for a PMP in government and what would work to get 1.2 million people to come out and vote for that leader. And so I believe that's my job now, which I believe that the team and I are effectively carrying out, educating the PMP delegates so that they understand that choosing a leader, meaning you're choosing a prime minister, and so a leader to front, represent the whole country. You are saying you want all views to contain. Therefore, it is your duty to keep all comrades educated to make the right decision come September. That's part of the resistance job. Uh, so let me rephrase that. Not my job per se, but part of the resistance job is to educate the PMP delegates. Because people beat up on the PMP delegates and call them dunce, fool, fool, idiot delegates. Them to you like, Mark, they are not. They are not dunce, fool, fool, idiot delegates. They were sold on an idea. They were, all, they, they were sold on this notion that this white man whose parents and grandparents owned slaves, they were sold on the idea that he would be a good leader. And then they were bought. They were given money to support this leader. Mm. Then they were sold on another idea that Lisa and I was not good enough. And they were sold on the idea that between Lisa and Mark, 
back would be a better choice. I am hoping that after witnessing all of this, mm -hmm. they now know that whenever they go into that booth to choose a leader for the PMP again, that choice must be a sober one and must not be based on the fact that somebody give them ten thousand last night. Come for them this morning, send boss, give them a t shirt to say we're going with gold and going off the cliff, jumping in a lake, jump off in the sea. I don't know where they were going with golden. But somebody tell them that. And the next morning they came, they put on them t shirt, go vote, and call it them fifteen thousand dollars and go on them yard. Our job is to tell them that you can do all of that. Collect the their money and go into that booth and vote for what you believe is best for the PMP going forward. So our job is to educate them about that. So educate them. Democracy, democracy is only effective if it's guided. Democracy can only work if it's guided. Democracy so must guiding, be guided. So you're setting the narrative and guiding the democracy for September. We have to guide the democracy. If we don't guide so the democracy, we're going to do that. To Mark Golding or Mark Golding will be stepping aside. I would hope that Mark Golding, being an being a Oxford educated man, would see the writing on the wall, which is not pale. The writing on the wall is very clear. And that he would do the right thing. And many people have said that he wants to go and he wants to step aside. And Bunting is the one who's holding him back and all kind of things holding him back. I am not entirely buying that. I think he's enjoying the trappings of being opposition leader, uh, driving, um, having him own driver and police driving behind him. I, I think he's enjoying that without thinking about the PMP. And it's clear from my observation last night that these guys have come to a stark realization that everybody knows what they did. And no matter how much money they spend going forward, they are going down. So, Comrade Cross, mm -hmm. are you saying that should a leadership challenge come up, you will be independent as the resistance spokesperson? I would never be an independent sideliner. I always make a choice of a, of a, of a candidate. I run with that candidate. I'm saying I've not made that choice yet. That's what I'm saying. I've not made that choice yet. But have, anybody approached, that choice. have anybody approached you for leadership? No. 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 But come across, I feel that you have a candidate and you wish not to say it because you don't want to bias the system. Listen to me very carefully. I am the most honest political operative in Jamaica. If I had a candidate now, I'd be telling you about my candidate. Okay. All right. So come across, it was it was a pleasure having you this morning. Um, I'm going to heat, heat up some food mm -hmm. to have my breakfast and take some of my, medi my medications. And I'm going to go clean my kitchen. Go clean it, man. And I hope you Thank come. you. And, 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 and no more dancing for the rest of the week. I'm tired. Dancing? I would like to finish cleaning the kitchen. I'm going to damn sleep. Sleep? At your Yay. age? So early. My name is so Beverly. Then, let's see come across and we'll talk again. All right, Papa, cool. Jamaica. Sonny, do you have anything to say? Do you have anything to say? If you have anything to say, you can join us, Sonny. Is there anybody who wants to join me on the line? Is there anybody who wants to join us on this slide? Oh, there's nobody else. So here's what Jamaica. Tune in this evening. I will be going through the FLA report by the Integrity Commission. I'll be going through the FLA 
on the integrity commission of the FLA report. Some damning allegations, Jamaica. Damning allegations. Very damning allegations on Peter Bunting and Robert Bobby Monticelli. Pressing allegations on them. So join me this evening as I take it to another level. Be blessed.